Good evening. Welcome to the beauty room known as your girl Dawn. And thank you for yesterday for um, viewing my video yesterday on YouTube. Thank you so much for making a, a lot of likes. Continue to make that video a lot of likes. Definitely subscribe. And if you're new and if you're doing an OG or original, thank you for tuning in to another video. And if you're new, welcome to the beauty room. It's known as your girl by Dawn. It's me. Yes. So definitely make sure you grab yourself a snack, something to drink, take notes with notepad pen and paper sit back and relax watch this video make sure at the end of the video that you like comment and subscribe subscribing is totally free when you do definitely don't forget to go to twitch tv that's my fiance's youtube um my fiance's not channel but following on aries gaming definitely go over there and follow him on twitch tv at Aries Gaming 9. Yes, Aries Gaming 9. If, if you're a video lover, love video games, or just a huge fan of video games and playing video games, definitely go over there to Twitch TV, Aries Gaming 9. Follow him. You will not miss out on any videos that he do for that on Twitch TV. Tell him Don sent you. Yes, and definitely tell your family and friends all about Twitch TV at Aries Gaming 9. So let's get right into the video. Tonight is April 19th, 2022. It is 9.33 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's a Tuesday evening, so happy Tuesday. Hope you all had a blessed and wonderful day today and a great evening. Set back and relax. Put the kids to bed because they have to be in school. I hope your parents, hope the parents had a great day at work and hope the children had a truly blessed day in school today. Paid attention to the teachers or the teacher's aid and just really learned something today or, and every day, you know, that they're in school or even in homeschooling, you know, if you still don't feel parents just feel comfortable with having your children in school, I completely understand that. But I'm not a parent just yet, but I do understand because I, Hamilton and I have nieces and nephews, so we do completely understand. So, yeah, so let's get right into the video. Um, I did a video on these quite a while ago, um, with Shop Miss A when I had a haul and I did a haul on these glitter, um, eyeliners. These are called Sparkle and Shine. They're by Malibu Glitter Pencils. And these are what they are. These are the certain colors that they are. Very, very pretty and unique and different. Goes right underneath your eye line right here. And I'm going to start off with the first one. This one is in gold. So let's see how long it lasts for 24 months. So that's a good thing. And then it doesn't say a name on here, but it's just like a gold at the end of it. So it's a glittery gold. And I'm going to put, I say, my glasses just fell. That's okay. Let's see. One, two, three, four. I'm going to put like four on this hand and the other four on this hand so i'm gonna start off with the gold so definitely you can definitely look on shop miss a for these glitter eyeline pencils you can definitely put them like right here in your eye i'm just putting them on my hand so you can see how they look on my type of skin tone but if you're lighter than me these will be definitely pretty on you it don't have to go on your eye at your eye it can go like above your eye like above your eyelid you know uh, underneath your eye those are only two main things that I could think of. Maybe like at the inner corner. Maybe, you know, try out and see. But be careful before you put this into your corner of your eye. Um, or you can use some iPods. I mean, like loose glitter <laughs> or shimmers in your eyeshadow palettes. Or you can use some of these as, as an example. These are um, loose shimmer for your inner corner for your eyelid you know to make your eyeshadow pop out even more if you're going out on date date night or even in the daytime you know shimmers and glitters look very pretty glitters will go normally onto the inner corner of your eye right here and also with shimmers that go onto your eyelid how it depends how you want to have your eyeshadow you know looking very nice and pretty you can definitely use a concealer that's a shade a bit lighter than your eyelid you can go a, a shade lighter 
or you can use a eyeshadow primer. It's those are the two main options that I've known that people that women do onto their YouTube channel. But if you have your own way of doing your own um, eyeshadow, you definitely can use a concealer or you can use a eyeshadow primer. It's whichever one is the best that works out for you. You can go affordable like I do. I do like Shop Miss A. I go to Walmart and get like the Kiss, you know, not Kiss, but um, any eyeshadow primer from like L'Oreal, Maybelline, Wet n Wild, Elf. Those are the main eyeshadow primers that I use to go for my eyelid, but I use to go a shade lighter, like a nude type of color because my eyelids are like brown. But I normally go with a shade lighter, so like a nude color, you know. But if your skin tone lighter than me, ladies, you can definitely go with a lighter shade. You can go with the NYX um, eyeshadow primer. I think that's a new eyeshadow primer. I haven't tried it out yet. I'm going to pretty soon in the next couple of weeks. So look out for that coming future video. I do not know when I'm going to be at Walmart, but I'm going to be going to Walmart soon. So look out for that Walmart haul of 2022. So let's try this color. This is just a like a glitter gold pencil glitter that goes really good. As you can see, it goes really good with my skin tone. But if you're like a couple shades lighter than me or any shade that you are, skin tone that you are beautiful, have how wherever you however shade skin tone that you are, you're very beautiful in the inside as well as the outside, okay? not forget that you're beautiful in the inside and outside do not let nobody tell you any different okay yes so this is the gold color here this is it right here and this one and then this is the dark brown one so this is this one Let me try to put my hand down flat i can see here we go and it works out pretty good too so as you can tell the two looks very good so yep very good i'm gonna try one of these onto my um eyeliner so you can like see like right above here so you can see how they really really look and come out and then this is the silver one very pretty very pretty so these glitter um pencils eye pencils are from shop miss a Definitely go to Shop Miss A. They're called Sparkle and Shine Malibu M A L I B U Glitz. This is like the design, as you can see, the Malibu Glitz right here. That's the name of them. And this is called Sparkle and Shine. This is the silver one, as you can probably see them onto the website. So definitely make sure that you get these brand very very good so far i have no complaints so far at all and you may have to do like a touch up or two maybe within a couple of hours or about an hour or so maybe but this is the silver one this is it right here silver and then one more and we're going to go for the type of greenish type of teal color green type of teal color yeah, I'm gonna try this one. I'm trying to see which one do I like so far, but I like all four of them so far. You know, there's no ones I dislike so far. But with the teal color, you have to push it into your skin just a little bit, you know, rough and not too rough. But as you can see, these are all the four. This is the gold, the dark brown, the silver, and the teal color. Let me get a little closer so you can really see it. So this is the teal color. This is the last one right here. They don't look too bad either. They look very, very good. So I like those four so far out of the other four. So those are an A plus so far. We're going to go for the other four on this hand. And the first one I'm going to all choose is always black. So I'm going to try with the black. See how the black looks. Oh yeah, as you can tell with the black, that looks very, very good with the black. As you can see, like a little shimmer to it. So yeah, not bad at all. So I can see the shimmer in it just a little bit. But um, if you want to put, I wouldn't advise to put shimmer underneath 
your eye your, your eye line your water line right here i wouldn't advise it um just because you know you know if you're allergic or you know your, your skin is sensitive to certain um beauty products definitely um check it out before you buy google or look online you know anything that you you know was you know in case to be safe to be i'd rather see you all be safe than you know than disappointed and sorry at the end but this is the dark blue type of color here it's like a sea blue put it right here Ooh, and this one's pretty good too so i can see the shimmer in them it's not bad at all I can see the shimmer so you can see the shimmer here on these four but this one is the this is the um the sea blue one this is the sea blue so yeah it has shimmer in it so just be careful as you put it you know underneath your um your waterline be definitely be careful with that please be very, very careful and now this one is the uh, fuchsia i want to say fuchsia color I didn't have um, see or this could be red so we'll see it's either fuchsia or red but I couldn't think of it but I think it's probably mixed in like with the red and fuchsia but I think it's more red than it is fuchsia so I apologize I'm getting the color completely wrong looks like it's a red <laughs> yeah I think it's a red so mm, I'm colorblind so I apologize but yeah, I think this is more like of a red, not a fuchsia. Huh? So I'm, I apologize with the first one I said. It, it's more of a red than a fuchsia. But this is very, very pretty as well. If you have like on a pretty um, plain red t-shirt and you want to bring your makeup look, you know, out, you can probably put this onto your eyelid. Let's see. I'm just seeing how it look. But but I don't know, but. Um, it's kind of coming out just a little bit, but I wouldn't advise to put it onto your eyelid because, as you can tell, see, I just wanted to show you first, you know, so you can see how it looks just a tiny bit onto the eye. I would definitely put it right above here, underneath here. I wouldn't put it on, on like, my waterline because, like I said, you know, that's a very sensitive area um, to your face. So you just want to be careful. Be, I'm just advised this thing to be very careful. And then this is the last color. This is like a light pink or pink. This is like a light pink glitter one right here. So let's see how this one looks. Oh, this one's pretty for the spring. And yesterday we had we had snow yesterday. Believe it or not, but thank God it didn't stick. It wasn't even an inch, about a half of an inch of snow. So yeah, we had snow yesterday, you all. Oh my gosh. I woke up after taking Hamilton to work, you know, and I woke up a few hours later. I'm like, wow, like, what's that? Like, why, why is it so cold? You know, it's like, it felt it's extra cold, you know. So if you live in the state of Michigan, then you know the weather here in Michigan. But it was extra cold and it felt really, really cold, you know, because I get hot and I get cold. But because of my, my, because of my diabetes, um, I have, I'm type 2, but... Um, with the weather the way it changes it gets hot and it's cold it gets more cold you know so we're like at the last moments of the cold weather here so spring will be here soon but hopefully i heard next week supposed to be good weather between 60s and maybe 70 ish weather but we'll see you know because the weather changes you know depends on mother nature so i'm not complaining so i'm patiently waiting on spring but yeah but this is the light pink one so this is kind of pretty too I, I see like a lot of shimmer into them as well so definitely check these glitter pencils out if you um want to get all eight of them so i have yep i have all eight of them you definitely want to check them out this is the four set right here this is the black green red and pink these are these and then these are like more of uh, the winter colors, you know, fall type of colorish colors. The brown, the gold, silver, and the green. So, yeah, very, very pretty colors. So, definitely check those glitter pencils out. Uh, can you see now? This is the first four here. And then this is the last four onto 
my left so yeah, very very pretty colors I love them not bad at all they're very pretty for now spring color you know if you want so very pretty so definitely check out shop miss a for these colors and also I want to oh and these are like a dollar each dollar each so hopefully shop miss a have them if not um that's the only website I can think that could be close to the shimmer pen eye pencils or you may want to check out like you know your own you know like your local Walmart um Dollar Tree so what Dollar Tree has um Walmart um let's see like Maybelline line who um L'Oreal or your Paris you know um you know just like the, like the good brands you know L'Oreal and Maybelline what in the wild NYX um at your local Walmart you got Rite Aid you got Walgreens that's if you have it in your state and area um I know we had Rite Aid in here in Westland but they took it down and put another building up just a, about a month ago. So, you know, it's different. This world is getting, it's being different. And I apologize about this blind. Yes, this little piece is gone. But don't worry. Hamilton's going to take these blinds down for me tomorrow when he gets off work. And put some new ones up so it can look more presentable, more better. So, yeah. Showing. <laughs> Sorry about that. But yeah, um, if you want to make a a good good meal for you and your spouse, or just you, or just even you and your girls, you want to have a dinner a dinner night in at your place, definitely make my spaghetti. It's super good. So let me tell you. Make sure you take notes. Grab yourself a pen, pen and pen or pencil right now, and your notepad or notebook. Sit down right here, right now, watching me and follow each and every word that I'm saying. But you can, you know, put it in your own dish or your own ingredients. It's totally up to you. Um, definitely make sure you have a box of spaghetti. It can be a Kroger brand. It can be, well, what what's my job. You know, we have our family. Um, we have, you know, you can go to Kroger and get uh, any spaghetti box. So any spaghetti box to do. If you want a good brand, it's called Barella. You can get that or it's called Muller, so you can get that that's a number two or you can get a like an off brand if you can't get you know the barella or the molars because some places grocery stores do sell out pretty fast with spaghetti noodles so definitely get that make sure you have a good uh, medium soft pan um, that you can put up to at least six cups of water make sure you put your burner onto um too high not being high but high and put at least six cups of water in there and as your water boil add a couple sprinkles of um of salt and not oh you can add sea salt but i don't i just add regular um salt you know you can do kosher salt if you want but kosher salt is a little bit more finer and salt it's a little more salty like salty sugary type of salt but that's why i don't add kosher salt i only do it like to meats a little bit of a couple of sprinkles to meat i mean yes yeah, my meat so the first thing you want to do is get you a medium saucepan at six cups of water let the water get on high let it boil for at least five to ten minutes add your salt into it then you want to take a box of spaghetti noodles put it all in there you know put it into the pot boiling pot then you want to stir it and make it go down with your noodles because you don't want to burn like on the sides as it as it goes into the pot, make sure you take your time. Use a a metal um slotted spoon to make it go down. Take your time with this meal, please. Take your time with the meal. Make sure you do that, and then put the lid on it. But kind of put the lid not all the way on it, but just like half of it, you know, because you don't want the steam. You know, you want this. You want it, your noodles to be steamed, so you want it to come out just right. So read the instructions on the box as well. If you're making spaghetti, you know you can have your spaghetti al dente of the noodles, but don't make them too big because they'll be like this. And when your family eats your spaghetti, you don't, you know, <clears throat> you don't want the noodles to look too big. So cook your noodles just right. Then when it comes to about that 12 or 13 minute of your noodles, drain your noodles, but leave just a 
tad bit of water into your noodles because you don't want the noodles to dry up because it does dry up pretty quick when you have that um, when you take the lid off oh and also before you drain your noodles when your noodles cook you can add a couple of tablespoons of butter to your pasta water that's what I do I do two tablespoons of butter um, I use Imperial that's better for me so or you can use country crock but country crock is a spread so if you want to use real butter you can use unsalted butter because you already have salt into your water so get um, get a box of um, any butter but make sure it's unsalted butter cut up to two tablespoons of butter that into your boiling pasta water as your noodles are cooking and then reduce your noodles with the burner to medium so good about medium just like right there you know it depends if you have a numbers onto your stove top or you know like the line you know it's totally up to you whichever stove top you have will work so definitely be sure that the um the stove top that i have it doesn't have numbers it have just the like the line so i know where to you know first put my pasta water onto medium onto high then the 10th the 13th minute after when it's done it's kind of almost getting there to that soft you know tender that i want for my noodles i make sure i put it on medium then after that i put it on low because as my meat is cooking my meat is almost done so so that's step one and step two is you you can get a large um pan get a large nonstick pan i use about two pounds of ground beef like 80 20 type of meat ground beef or you can do half and half use half i'll use a pound of turkey and use a pound of ground beef it's totally up to you or you can use all turkey you know to be more healthier for you and your family so you use either one now as your meat is you know getting cooked you know um you can use a a wooden spoon a flat wooden spoon you know for your meat so you can put you know um uh divide your meat into like those crumbly type of type of meat you know um so you definitely want to do that make sure you season your meat with a couple of tablespoons of seasoned salt um garlic powder onion powder and black pepper you know because your seasoned salt already has salt in it you don't want to add extra you know salt so you leave the salt out but you season salt um garlic powder and onion powder so with season salt onion powder and garlic powder you use a couple of tablespoons of sprinkles you know to your hand put it into your meat like that or you can use the container and just shake it up like that you know with the um with the holes that comes with the top onto your seasoning so definitely do that just go like that to your meat use your wooden spoon to to um to break to break your meat up that's what i'm trying to say duh, duh. so you want to break your meat up with that wooden flat spoon side for just a few and then set your spoon your wooden spoon aside and let that meat cook now as your meat cook you can get two jars i usually get two jars but i use like a jar and a half so i get two jars of ragu glass jars of ragu you can get i think they have meat sauce on um, ragu and they have like the mushroom and garlic with herb that's a good one but you can get the tradition the traditional um ragu um spaghetti sauce and then i use a can one can <clears throat> Or if you have a big family, you get two cans um, of the diced, hunts, hunts diced tomatoes. But I use them with the basil, garlic, I think it's garlic, basil, and herbs, diced tomatoes. Because with your diced tomatoes, it already has like that basil, that garlic in there. But if you like extra garlic, good travels. And I do, we love garlic because garlic is very healthy and very good for you. So keep that in mind. So as you um, put that after your meat is done, you know it's done. Turn, put your meat on low. You know your 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 cut up chunk up meat. Put that on low. Drain your meat out because you because the meat you know you don't want to add any vegetable oil, nothing to your your pan. 
for your meat. Do not add any vegetable oil, canola oil, nothing like that unless you're frying meat or frying up some potatoes or whichever you're doing. But do not add any vegetable oil to your pan because your meat already is already going to come with oil as you're, as you're meat cooking into your pan. So drain your meat out, put that into a colander, shake your colander up and get that that um, that um, that oil out, out of your meat. Return your meat back to your pan, to your large pan. Make sure your, your, your pan is deep enough, big enough for your sauces, your diced tomatoes, and, <clears throat> and that's it, and your meat, okay? So after you return your meat to your pan, your large pan, non-stick pan, <clears throat> make sure your pan is deep, like that deep, because, you know, your sauce, your diced tomatoes, your meat is going to, you don't want your meat to over to get overfloated, you know, and get all messing into your, to your stove top. But I cook as I, I mean, I clean as I cook in my kitchen. So that'd be lesser for me. The only thing I have to do is do the dishes because we do not have a dishwasher in our home. But very soon I will have a dishwasher in our new place. But it's only depends on God. I keep on praying for it, a new home for us better environment i even though the environment that we live in now it's peaceful it's quiet it's not as much noise you know in a manufactured home you know in mobile homes you know and it depends on your neighbors you know so i don't judge my neighbors at all so yeah you definitely want to make sure that and then you want to reach and then you want to put your um your meat back onto like a um, medium low put it onto like low and then as you put your sauce your your first jar of ragu sauce you put that in there with your meat then you put your um oh and you also want to drain too as well I'm just saying kind of backwards i apologize not good at direction so um but yeah but with your open dice can um if you have an electric can opener make sure when you, uh when it opens don't don't have it open all the way take the take the, the can away because you want to drain that juice from your diced tomatoes into your sink so yeah drain the juice off of your diced tomatoes then when that's completely you know done you shake it and make sure that no tomatoes came out of the can but you know, make sure you put your diced tomatoes into your into your pan with your meat and your meats your first jar of meat sauce you know with the ragu it can be ragu it can be hunts Oh, what other one? Those are the only two that I know, and maybe some expensive one if you want. That's totally up to you, you know. Um, or um, Pregu. Pregu's a good one too as well. So I love Pregu too. So I like Ragu, Pregu, Hunt. Those are my main three uh, spaghetti sauces that I love to make when I do make spaghetti. <clears throat> and also, if you want to have extra meat, you can. I use um, like the Eckrich. Um, smoked sausage or the beef sauce or the beef sausage links you know with the two in one pack you know i normally just chop that up in chunks and then i also add that into my ground beef or turkey you know you know with ground beef and turkey or just all ground beef is what we use in this house so it depends on whatever household you live in you can you can use turkey you can use ground beef you can use both or you can use all turkey or you can use all ground beef it's totally up to you then I do an additional meat to with the smoke chop, chopped up smoked sausage. You know, I put them in like medium chunks. I add that on to with my meat sauce. Then I put my second spaghetti sauce, like the other, you know, sauce of ragu, ragu, or um, or hunt, you know, into it. I stir it up and I put it on medium. Then I also make sure it's all hot and I put. A fitted lid onto there and let my sauce cook for another 10 to 15 minutes as that's cooking I add my you know my garlic bread but I kind of spray my um my 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 cookie, my cookie pan excuse me I'm so sorry you can use a cookie pan sheet you know for your garlic bread spray it with cooking spray very light not too much you know and then you want to put at least six on two you know three and three or four and four you know and then make a little small like a like a like a salad wedge 
no with your spaghetti too as well and and your garlic bread you want to make sure that you use a good like romaine that comes in three in the pack or you can get um, like the fresh romaine you know in the produce department in, in the grocery store you definitely get that whichever is just you know affordable for you and your family you know i'm just saying this is how my spaghetti sauce i mean my spaghetti meal is and it's a fantastic good hour meal you know then after garlic bread is almost done to that you don't want it too crunchy i don't like my garlic bread too crunchy that's just me on the edges because i like to have that crunch but not too much of a crunch crunch because i don't want my garlic my garlic toast to get you know hard so i like to do like a good good size you know let it cook really good you know and you definitely want to read the directions to to the to your to your box with your garlic bread or you can cook it in the oven or you can cook it on your stove top to another pan but you don't want to have too many dishes onto your stove top as you cook this meal you want just your spaghetti meat sauce onto the burner and your water salted um, pasta on that and that's it then your garlic bread into the oven you know read the directions with that and it'll come out good it's a very good easy meal take about a good good hour to make it um and yeah and serve your meal to your family and that's it and let me know in the description box below if you made this meal i hope you follow directions very carefully of how i said it but if you didn't i would do another video um on how i make my spaghetti again so if you didn't follow it quite well I would definitely make sure to do another video all about my spaghetti meal and about some ribs that I'm going to make for Hamilton um, ribs and I'm going to make um, some chicken wings, some hot chicken wings and some barbecue chicken wings for his bachelor party because he's having one since, you know, because my with my situation with my friend, my best friend, I wanted to do my, my, um, my bachelor at, can I talk? With my bachelor at party that got canceled but it was okay you know I understand because she just had surgery on her shoulder and you know she was going through some things and I understand you know I still love her and that's my best friend you know and she's my older sister to me di different mother from, from, from another mother you know I, I look at my best friends as my sisters we're in a sisterhood we're you know together in the club together that's how I look as my best friends, you know, Toya, Trina, and also Corinne and Joanna and Maya. Those are my girls to the very end of life, 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 life. But yeah, we all, we're always there for one another when we need each other, you know, a phone call away or, you know. But I just want to let you know about my spaghetti meal. If you didn't quite follow it quite well, I'll do another video on it tomorrow, but I hope you did tonight. So definitely make sure that you wrote down the ingredients and because there's no measurements to making a spaghetti meal but i will tell you of how to make um a a glaze for your hunt for like for your honey oh my gosh to make a glaze for your hunt for your ham you know if you did not do easter dinner for your family on sunday i do have my my own my very own um glaze for, for a ham it's just only for ham it's not for any other type of meat it's just for ham i'll do that too also as well tomorrow but i'll write down the things of how what i told you how i make my spaghetti and for a glaze for a ham and i will tell you about my recipe of how to make hot wings barbecue ring, wings you know and barbecue ribs so i'll tell you all about that tomorrow so i think i'll do that um with a different type of channel so the way this channel will just stay beauty and then i'll have another channel for just food and the recipes let me know if that'd be a good idea so let me know if you want to see me talk for like less than 30 minutes on about food as i love food i love to cook that is a passion that i have i always wanted to do since i was in my 20s i always want to teach people how to cook you know because there's some people out in the world some people out in the world that don't know how to cook and it's okay so you definitely can come back to this channel and come back to my other channel but i can't decide on what title i'm going to have it for so that's just going to be another sneak peek or surprise i'm going to have for you all so definitely um take a look at that video take 
hope you like this video take a look at this video god bless you all it's getting late so please stay safe and encourage dream big to the sky anything is possible that you have in your mind that you want to do continue to do it stay focused because god loves you i love you and if you're a new subscriber welcome to the beauty room god bless you and all and thank you for tuning in and for subscribing commenting and liking it's totally free when you do for all three for all those things definitely make sure you check check um check out check out twitch tv follow aries gaming i that is my fiance's channel on twitch tv go over follow him if you're a video game lover if you love video games if you're a fan of video games love to play video games all hours of the night does not matter follow him on twitch tv aries gaming night god bless stay safe stay encouraged and i'll see you next video bye